Hello everyone. Uh, in this series of videos, we'll be going through the 2023 Math Selective Paper. These papers can also be found and accessed online. This is part one of three videos. So question one. Question one asks us to find the total length of Nagali's playlist. So the question tells us that the first song is four minutes long. And there are three more songs where each song is 30 seconds shorter than the song before it. For this question, um, you can say that 30 seconds is how much of one minute? That should be 0 0.5 minutes. So since each song is 30 seconds shorter, our first song will be 4 minutes. Our second song will be 3.5 minutes. Our third song will be 3 minutes. And our last song will be 2.5 minutes. If we add all these up together, carry the 1, we should get 13 minutes. Now, next question. Next question. Let's start by drawing a graph or a diagram, sorry. So we have a scale and the scale is equal. We have eight cubes on this side. And that's the same as the weight of five spheres. Now we know that one sphere weighs 560 grams. So five times 560 gives us 2,800 grams. From here, we know that 2,800 grams is how much the eight cubes weigh. So eight times the number of cubes equals 2,800 grams. We want to find the weight of one cube. So what do we do? We divide both sides by 8. So they cancel out. So 1 cube is equal to 2,800 divided by 8. So that goes in 3 times. Carry the 4. That goes in 5 times. And we have a 0. So the answer should be B, 350 grams. Third question. Now the third question requires us to know how much a right angle is. So a right angle is 90 degrees, but another way of thinking about it is that how many degrees are there in a tri- oh sorry, not a triangle, in a circle, 360 degrees. 90 degrees is how much of 360 degrees? Exactly one quarter. So from here, we know that one quarter plus one quarter plus one on eight gives us this much. So if we add that up, we get two on eight plus two on eight plus one on eight, which gives us five on eight. And since this is one whole circle, we treat that as one. And we take away what we have here to get the remaining um, black part of the circle. And three on eight is the answer. So we circle D. Now for this question, this question requires us to work backwards. So we know that there were 24 lollies left in the bag and Rob kept these for himself. So this is how much Rob has at the end. Before Rob had 24 lollies left, he gave away 20 of his lollies. Since he gave it away, we now add it to find out how much he had before that. And that gives us 44. Now it says Rob gave Hamid half of the lollies from the bag. 44, if you give away half, you would still have one half left. So 44 is one half. So what we do here is we times this by 2. And that gives us 88, which is E. 
Question five. You can use guess and check, but another way of doing it is break up these two numbers. Now, what do I mean by break it up? So six, how much is six? That's the same as three plus three. What about this six? Since we're timesing it by six, that's the same as three times two. So another way of writing this question is plus three equals plus three plus three, and then box times three equals box times three times two. From this, we know that whatever's in this square has to be three more than what's in this square. And whatever's in this square has to be two times more than what's in this square. So from here, you can use some guess and check. So let's say this is eight and this is four. Eight times three gives us 24. Four times three times two gives us 24. So that works. What about for this one? Mm, since this is three more, let's say this is five. And let's say this is 2. 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 plus 3 plus 3 is also 8. So that works. Now, what number are we left, left with? So we used 2. We used 4. We used 5. And we used 8. So 7 is the number that is not used. Question 6. Sydney's time zone is 14 hours ahead of New York's time zone. When it is 9.30 a.m. on 19th January in Sydney, what is the time and date in New York? For this question, right from the bat, we can cancel two options. It will be these last two ones. The reason why we can cancel them out is because 9.30 a.m., 14 hours before that, will be the day before. So then we're left with three options. What I like to do with these questions is go to midnight first and then take away the remind remaining time. How you can do that is you take away nine nine hours thirty minutes to get to twelve a.m. and that should leave us leave us with four hours and thirty minutes. From there we can go back again from then. So twelve hours take away four hours is. 8 p.m. Take away another 30 minutes and we're left with 7.30 p.m. So the answer will be A. Now, Poppy has a bag of 7 black marbles and 6 white marbles. For this question, it's important to realize that she does not put them back in the bag. So, if we took two marbles out, how many marbles are we left? Initially, we had 13 marbles. We take two out, we have 11. So, 11 total. Now, what is the probability that it is white? We took out one black marble and one white marble. So, how many white marbles are we left with? We're left with five white marbles. So, the answer would be B. Leroy finds the largest three-digit number that is a multiple of both 2 and 5. For this question, let's recognize that 5, any multiple of 5, has to end with 5 or 0 in the ones place. For it to have, to, sorry, for it to be a multiple of 2 as well, 2 times anything is always going to be an even number. So it can never end with a 5. So the biggest number it can be will end with a 0. Now the largest 3 digit number that ends with a 0 is 990. From here we add together the 3 digits of the number. So 9 plus 9 plus 0 which gives us 18. Question 9, um, Jacinta has a two-digit number, Amber has a two-digit number, and they multiply it together. So, what are the positive, 
sorry, what are the possible numbers of digits in the result? For this question, we'll use the smallest two digit number possible and the largest two digit numbers possible. The reason why we do this is because we want to know all the possible numbers of digits that we can get when we multiply them. So the smallest two digit number is 10 and 10. We times that together and we get 100. How many digits are there? There are three digits. Now let's do our biggest two digit numbers, 99 and 99. If we multiply that together, 81, 89, 81, 81, add that all together. That gives us a four digit number. So the only possible number of digits are three digits and four digits. So the answer is C. In a number pyramid, each number in the middle and top rows is the sum of the two numbers below it. Below is an example. For this question, what this means is that this plus this will give us the number on top of it. This plus this will give us this number on top of it, and so on. So from here, let's write a few equations to help us. So 9 plus star gives us a heart. And since it's a missing square, I'm going to give it a question mark since we don't know what it is. We know that 7 plus star gives us a question mark. We also know that a question mark plus a heart gives us 40. From here, we can start moving things around. So we know 7 plus star equals a question mark. So we can put that into here. 7 plus star plus heart equals 40. From here, what did we want again? We wanted, ah, uh, sorry, we wanted a star and a heart. And that's exactly what we have here. So all we have to do is move this to this side. How do we do that? We take away my 7 from both sides, which leaves us with 33. So the answer is B. Now, Kira draws a rhombus and a rectangle. They both have the same perimeter. All of the sides of the rhombus are 6 centimeters long. Two sides of the rectangle are 4 centimeters long. Now, what does it mean by perimeter? Perimeter is the outside length of a 2D shape. So in this rectangle, the perimeter will be this length plus this length plus this length plus this length. So we have a rhombus and all of the sides are 6 centimeters long. So that leaves us with a perimeter of 24 centimeters. Now we have a rectangle. Two sides of the rectangle are 4 centimeters long. So let's say this is 4 centimeters, this is 4 centimeters. Now, we want to know the length of these two sides. We know that the entire perimeter is 24 centimeters. As it says, they both have the same perimeter. So let's call these missing lengths question marks. So question mark plus question mark plus 4 plus 4 gives us 24. So two question marks equals 16, the question mark equals 8. So you know these two lengths are 8 centimeters. What we do from here now is we multiply these two to get the area. 4 times 8 is 32, so the answer is C. Now we have a graph question. Don't be scared of graph questions because they can be pretty straightforward. This question tells us that Drew started work at 
0500 or 5 a.m. So find that on the graph. It's over here. And at 5 a.m. there were six planes. Now we want to know when the number of planes was double the amount at 5 a.m. So 6 times 2 gives us 12. So we want to see what time um, there are 12 planes. So let's follow along this line like this. I'll use a red pen here. And if we narrow it down at 1400 hours or 2 p.m., there are 12 planes. So how much time is there in between 5 a.m. and 2 p.m.? So 14 minus 5, which gives us 9. So the answer is B, 9 hours. This question is a bit of a conversion question. Um, it doesn't matter what you convert it to. For simplicity, I'm going to convert it to fractions. So 2.5 is the same as 2 and 2 quarters. 2 and 75 over 100 is the same as 2 and 3 quarters. 9 over 4, sorry, is 2 over 1 quarter. From here, we can arrange them from smallest to biggest. So since the 2's are the same, we only have to focus on the fractions that follow it. So 1 quarter, 2 quarter, 3 quarter. So 1 is less than 2 and 3, so it will be ranked... One, two, three. So the answer should be A. Now this question tells us that two centimeters on the map represent five meters in real life. So four centimeters, how many two centimeters are there in four centimeters? There are two. So 2 times 5 meters. 10 centimeters. How many 2 centimeters are there in 10 centimeters? There are 5 of them. So we do 5 times 5. So if we get that, we get 25 meters and 10 meters. Now to find the area, we times base times height or length times width. So 25 times 10 gives us 250 meters squared, which is E. So for this question, we want to know what the probability is that the spinner lands on a number greater than 9 over 100. 9 over 100, we're going to convert that into a decimal. That will be 0 0.09. From there, excuse me, from there we count the number of numbers um, that are bigger than 0 0.09. So 0 0.9 is greater than 0 0.09, 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.09, 0 0.1 is greater than 0 0.09. And those are the only ones. Now, how many sections are there? There are eight sections, and three of them are greater than 9 over 100. So our answer will be 3 on 8, which is C. So this is the end of part 1. Um, now you can go out, have a break, you know, stretch your legs, get some water, and I'll see you for part 2.